on the Hudson River estuary, miles away from traditional rural agriculture, and in the heart of our city, lies the Science Barge. The Science Barge is a sustainable urban farm. We believe that growing food in the city can reduce pollution from conventional agriculture and transportation, and at the same time increase the spread of sustainable technologies like solar power and rainwater catchment. The Science Barge is carbon neutral and emits no waste stream. We grow tomatoes, lettuce, peppers, and cucumbers using seven times less land and four times less water than it would take out in a field. The Science Barge has a suite of renewable energy systems that power the barge either autonomously or in combination. So behind us you see we have a, a solar array. This is a 1.25 kilowatt solar array that's mounted on a passive tracker, uh, which basically means that the tracker is able to tilt the panels completely perpendicular to the sun's rays at all times during the day, so it follows the sun as it moves across the sky. Uh, we also have five small wind turbines that are about to go up. You can see them hanging over the container there right now. Um, those are about 400 watts each, so there's five of them, and in combination they'll, they'll equal about two kilowatts. So they produce that much energy at a rated wind speed, which is 28 miles an hour. runoff of excess nutrients and fertilizers, which are major causes of water pollution. Water is stored on the barge in tanks and supplied by two recovery systems. The rainwater catchment system collects water from the roof of the greenhouse. For every inch of rain, 800 gallons of water are collected and are enough to supply the barge's system for more than a week. If there is no rain, the reverse osmosis machine converts salty river water to fresh water. It is brought on board through a series of pumps, raised to a high pressure, passed across a special membrane, and stored for later use. It is possible to produce 300 gallons per day with this system. A lot of uh, the food that we eat travels a very large distance to get to us. Uh, the average is, uh, in New York City is thousands of miles. And that means that all along the way there's loss and waste, uh, and there's also a lot of energy used to transport the food. And the trucks that uh, are carrying the food are generating air pollution, and they're uh, burning fossil fuels, so they're contributing to global warming. And you can cut all of that out if you bring the food into the city. On May 4, 2007, the barge opened with its official launch. The very reason why this greenhouse is on a barge is to promote public access. But if this idea moves to a larger scale, 
it won't be on barges. We did some math and discovered that there's enough existing rooftop space in New York City to grow all of the fresh vegetables for the entire population if science barge methods were used. Now I find that result, while obviously a bit theoretical, to be quite thought-provoking and I hope that you do too. Engineers of the future will need to use the Earth's resources more efficiently and produce less waste, while at the same time satisfying an ever-increasing demand for goods and services. They need a strong knowledge of their design's impact on built and natural systems, and must be adept at working closely with planners, decision makers, and the general public. The Science Barge hopes to stimulate the sustainable development of New York and be a model for cities in the years to come.